For this video, we're going to go ahead and stitch up the uh, the baseball uh, with. We're going to use the core that we just made after we wrap the rubber band ball with the yarn. We're going to use the piece of leather we cut out earlier, and uh, now we're going to bring in the, the waxed sinew as the string to wrap that up. And this this video will take a little longer. It it takes about a full 30 minutes to string up a baseball. For me now, it, it probably might take you 45 the first time you do it. So I'm going to try and break this video up into pieces, uh, if you will, so you don't have to see. Because there comes a point where it's repetitive, where you're just pulling and tugging and putting the needle through the hole and stitching and such, whatnot. So um, just bear with me as I go through this. I'll try and get to some good stop points and start points and, and still show you enough of what you need to get the ball done. So here's the core that we just made. Here's a piece of leather that we made earlier. Now we're going to try and put this together. Uh, if you remember back into the first video I showed you this little bag of excess pieces that are left over from other baseballs. If it's the first time you're making it, um, you're not going to have these obviously. So you'll take your wax sinew, uh, I should measure this, it's roughly about a 16 inch piece. So you would take this and cut off about a 16 inch piece which I don't want to waste this so I won't and you'll get uh, this piece of string and what this will do is hold the top together um, like I did here with this ball I just, I'll just i show you how I got all this but it helps hold it in place when you're stitching it you've got uh, everything held together you're not, you're not messing with that so here's one of the one of the needles, the number 18 needles Just going to start this through there, hopefully without too much trouble. There we go. Okay, so then I fold this over, and because it's waxy, you know, it's it's nice because it'll hold. Sometimes it'll hold better in place. But I'm going to go through the first hole, that tip hole, the ones where I marked. If you remember, I marked those spots. I'm going to go through the inside out on that one. I'm going to go through the inside out on the next one and just be careful not to pull the string all the way through. Um, inside out on that one and then inside out on this one. And then I'm going to set the core inside of that. And this is another place where you'll find out if the core is too big or too small. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it one way or the other here so we don't have to start over. But um, So I've got those that yarn in there or that uh, sinew in there. And what I want to do is pull it so that those points come together as best they can in an even fashion. So I'll kind of fiddle with it here. So I pulled it tight. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm going to hold it with my finger. Tie this in a knot. Pull it tight. You can see the tips are together, hopefully. Hold it with my finger and give it one more knot pull that tight. So now I've got this piece of leather on there with the four points mostly coming together and this knot which we'll deal with later. We, we tend to, you know, I can pull that down and hide it and stitch over it if I want. Um, some people will get to a point and they'll cut that out but um, it's, it's, it's going to be a personal preference thing. So as I look at this, you know, this is the pattern I made, I just drew up. It looks like we might be okay. I'm kind of checking how these things are coming together. Um, that's going to be interesting because this is the first time making this ball with this pattern and if it works out perfectly I'll, I'll be somewhat amazed but it should be good enough. So I've got this piece held in there. I'm going to leave about one, two, three, four holes worth and then I'm just going to cut that out. That's garbage. When I get to this point I can hide this stuff underneath and sew over it and once we get to that point. So now we need the long piece of thread to sew this up. And over the course of, the, of making the baseballs, um, we have found that to make this size baseball requires roughly a 96 inch piece of this wax sinew. So the next step now is to measure 96 inches. So the length of this is 60 inches, and so to get to the other 36 inches, 60 minus 36 is 24. I want to come down to 24 on this tape. 
and then I'm going to cut this roughly if it's a little bit longer it's no big deal don't leave it short we don't need this anymore and now I just leave this out of the way we've got this 96 inch piece of wax sinew that's going to thread this baseball so to get started thread these again this is always fun for old people got the first needle in hold that in place and then I'm going to thread the second needle the other end of the sinew again I'll fold that over and just kind of hold it together as, as you're going through you're going to want to hold the ends of these very tight because when these things come out of the the needle, you got to re-thread them, and again, us old people, they don't like doing that. So where I start usually depends on where this knot ends up, and so I like to hold that thing down and start just opposite of that. So I don't want to start at the bottom of this one because I've folded it over this way. I'm going to start here at the bottom of this one and go up. So what I do is I take one needle, and I want to find the last hole, and this is unfortunately the one where I had... I thought I needed an extra hole I might not have, but I'm going to come through the last hole on one side. Take the other end of the string. I'm just going to slide this out of the way or something. Just make sure it doesn't knot up with the other one. And then I'm going to come inside and come out the hole on the other side. So I'm trying to turn the ball this way. So again, I'm holding this string as I pull it. So I've got this side coming through here this side coming through here. And to make sure I have equal sides on both, I put these needles together, hold it tight, and I just pull this through, separate them again, make sure that's the right side. And I've got one on this side and one on this side, and now I'm going to start threading my way up. So I take this side, find the next hole, put the needle up through it, pull it to where it's you get to the end of it again. Don't pull too tight because it could pull through the other side and make that one side shorter. Make sure they don't overlap the string. Take this one and I come up through the first hole on this side. Pull that tight and then I'm just going to keep going back and forth threading this. Again hold this up, pull this one under so they don't get in a knot. Find the next hole on this side. I'm going to give it a little bit of a tug here, tighten it up. Again, make sure you don't end up with a knot because it doesn't go through the holes very easily. And I'm just going to keep going now. Go up this side, pull it tight. Come on. Lift this side up and over, make sure there's no knot. Find the next hole. On this side, come up through it, pull it tight, take it back through this side, pull it tight, up and over, come up and under here, and then give this a tug to snug that up. You can see kind of the, the start of this threading, and this, this yellow sinew is showing up better on this orange. Some people might use a dark string, it's harder to show video but um, since I'm just using this as a practice ball and don't plan to do anything with it I don't care that it's a yellow string on a dark brown ball I'm going to keep going here I'm just every two times that I run the string through because you don't want to you don't want to go too far before you pull it tight and I'm going to pull it tight get that thing shut a little bit And I can tell already, as I go through this process, that I should have made that core slightly bigger. I think I'm going to have some pockets in this one, but that's okay. And we're going through the process, so if I uh, make a mistake, you guys will learn from it. Go back up through.
Okay. And the reason I can tell is as I push on this, there's some give. And normally there wouldn't be. Well, let's, let's just keep going. Um, again, this process, I'm just going to keep going up, going up, going up. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the camera off. And then I'm going to come back to how we do this crossover point when we get there. Uh, so I'll sew the rest of this up and come back and catch uh, how we go across the top there.